Until about five minutes ago, we drove a minivan, but in preparation for our Alaska trip, we got this tricked out Toyota Sequoia that can take us on a bunch of roads we wouldn't dare take the minivan on. Uh, I think we've got better yeah, yeah, I just wait, wait, wait. You don't want to go up anywhere? Uh, no, it's just too risky. We don't have a winch, we don't have equipment. Okay. And I don't want to make a bad time for you. That's okay. I'm fine. Right. Well, I, and I don't want to have a bad time. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, no. Later. <laughs> in 2020, we started off for a little RV trip. We didn't know how long it would last. I mean, really, do any of us know how long this is going to last? But for however long it lasts, we'll pay close attention to these moments that our lives are made out of, as fleeting and fragile and beautiful as butterflies. Alright, so a correction to a misstatement in my last video. Mount Taylor is not the highest mountain in New Mexico. It is, however, the highest mountain in the Cibola National Forest, uh, for whatever that's worth. It sits at about 11,000 feet, a little bit more, and in early March, we decided to see how far up we could make it. Kind of bad. That's that. And then you look under. That's also bad. That. That's not as bad. Right, you got boards. That's a great idea. Oh, you want the rope? Okay. This is gonna work. I send thoughts of belief. We started getting real creative, cutting branches and limbs to stuff underneath the tires. And at that point, we had to walk back some of the optimistic statements we'd made an hour earlier. Want to get out and push? Yeah. Want Shy to push? Sure. <laughs> Are you going to help us push? No. You are way too good. We got out of these ruts and just made ourselves even worse ruts. <laughs> Spinning, don't do it. Don't do it, you're making it worse. 
We worked for two hours to try to get this thing unstuck. Finally, Sunny turned to me and said, I think, I think we need to call someone. But just after he said that. It is our lucky day. Coming down the way here is a good Samaritan. I walked up the road to meet this guy and say, hey, any chance you have some tire chains or something? And he said, I can do better than that. I got everything I need to pull you out. Keith came up the mountain to exercise his dog. He knew he had a 50-50 chance of finding some goofballs like us who were stuck and needing a hand to get out. His truck looked pretty low key and Shy had some mm, reservations. But then he started pulling all of this gear out of his truck and we realized this was not Keith's first rodeo. When Keith did his initial assessment, he assured us, oh, there's a 100% chance I'm pulling you out. The only question is, how am I gonna go about it? I'm not doing anything, I'm not giving any gas. I'm not giving any gas. What? In typical fashion, Sunny utilized the resource at hand to find out exactly what we need for next time. Okay, you said this is masterful. Uh, this line is masterful, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I think all like high quality synthetic line is basically the same. Yeah except for this particular master pole. It's, That's got the wrap on it. It's called the XV line. It's on their website. Yeah. But it's, it's again, like twice the price of you know, two, three, four. But, but do you think it's worth it? I do, but I, I use my line enough in this kind of crap. Yeah. I, I, I did the whole soap and water. You know, sit there and bucket boots in your mind. I'm trying to spread the fire with your It's like, this is for the birds, man. Offroadportal.org. Uh -uh. It just dawned on me. For people like you to go out and venture out or whatever, it's a nationwide volunteer offer recovery site. That's awesome. So I signed up on there as a volunteer and I, I do all of New Mexico. So they just, uh, um, they reach out to volunteers near where the person is stuck. That is awesome. Out there for free, they're like, hey, pull them out like this, see you later, you know. Dressed like hikers. Yeah. So as I got closer, they start doing, you know, oh, I guess an adventure, you know. <laughs> it turns out they had driven their Subaru oh, on no. the road. It's a marked highway. Uh -huh. So Google Maps will say, yeah, go over this road. But in the wintertime, it's not flat. Oh, wow. So it's like, and they slid off into the little water drainage, but it's pretty remote. So they spent the night out there. <gasps> and there's no cell service. <sighs> and so they're like, oh my god, can you help us? <laughs> like, I don't want to explain now, but you found the right person. <laughs> it was quite an ordeal getting them out. I had to flip the car around and do all the fancy stuff. But yeah. they, uh, it was like they in the 20s when I was pulling them out. They were a start, you know? Like they were lost and they never found them and they died. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you're in New Mexico yeah. and you have service, just text me. Yeah. OK, so on that note, thank you, Keith, of yeah. Keith's Off-Road Recovery. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unbelievable. guy rescued people from being stranded overnight as they were driving on the cliff. Like, we hit the mother load. Yeah, let's yeah. make sure we can get safely out before he leaves. That's so funny. We just said we should, get a, we should call someone. Yep. And then he shows up. Yep. That was amazing. That was really amazing. Thanks again for everything, Keith. Because of your timely entry, the day ended up being such a pleasantly memorable adventure. And thanks to your tips, we're much more prepared for next time. And you bet there's gonna be a next time.